Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? Hello. I'm fine. Okay, today we are going to do lesson two, the grammar. Are you ready? Open your pupil's book on page 61. Are you ready? Let's listen. Look, I got a postcard from my cousins, Dan and Grace. Where do they live? They live in America. Okay. Now, listen and Kahoot. No, sorry. Listen and repeat. Okay? Look, I've got a postcard from my cousins, Dan and Grace. Look, I've got a postcard from my cousins, Dan and Grace. Repeat. Where do they live? Repeat. They live in America. Repeat. Very good. Okay. What's a postcard? A postcard? Es una tarjeta, un, una tarjeta postal. Yes, yo creo que vosotros no sabéis lo que es eso. Se lo pre podéis preguntar a vuestros padres. Papá, ¿qué es una tarjeta postal? Where do they live? Okay, where do you live? I live in las Torres de Cotillas. Where do you live? You live, you say, I live in Murcia, I live in Molina, I live in Alguazas, I live in Alto Real. Okay, now let's listen to the grammar. Aquí viene la parte que os tengo que explicar en español, es la parte de gramática. ¿Qué vamos a tener que aprender en esta unidad? Pues es bastante sencillo, ¿vale? Pero tenéis que estar atentos. ¿Estáis preparados? A ver. What? What do you do in the summer? What is qué? ¿Qué haces en el verano? In the summer, lo, iremos, lo podemos cambiar por otros. What do you do in winter? O what do you do? Do you do in spring? Y así con los demás. Chicos, si me preguntan con you, respondo con we. Porque aquí cuando me preguntan con you, se refiere a vosotros. Como tu familia, por ejemplo. Your family. What do you do in the summer with your family? With your family. Nosotros, we, go to the beach. O we, plant seeds. Ahí ya recordamos el vocabulario de la lección anterior. O we, celebrate Halloween. ¿Ok? Esta es la primera estructura, la primera parte que tenemos que saber. Que la iremos ensayando. And, la segunda estructura es... Do they celebrate Halloween? Aquí en vez de they podríamos poner you. Do you celebrate Halloween? Vale. Si me pregunta con they, chicos, ¿con qué respondo? Si me pregunta con they, ¿con qué respondo? Con they, muy bien. Y si me pregunta con you... What do you, sorry, do you celebrate Halloween? ¿Cómo responderíamos si nos pregunta por nosotros? Responderíamos we. 
Yes, yes, we do. Oh, no, we don't. Aquí tenemos dos partes, ¿vale? Repito, si queremos preguntar por la actividad, ¿qué haces en verano? Es, what do you do in the summer? Si quiero preguntar mmm, si haces una actividad, si quiero que me respondas si es o no, pues entonces te utilizo la segunda estructura que es Do they go to the beach? Y yo respondría o Do they celebrate Halloween? Y entonces depende de lo que nos pregunte, de con qué persona nos pregunte, respondes, yeah, respondéis Yes, they do. O no, they don't. O, como os he explicado aquí, do you celebrate Halloween? Yes, we do. Porque aquí se refiere, you no se refiere a ti, se refiere a vosotros, a tu familia. ¿Ok? Ok. De todas maneras, chicos, esto para vosotros va a ser mucho más fácil si jugáis con la aplicación de Navio de clase y lo practicáis una y otra vez, ¿ok? Ok. Um, next part. Activity 2. Vamos a repasar a ver si lo hemos entendido. Ok. Flowers in spring. ¿Cómo pondremos? Do you smell flowers? O you smell flowers. Si recordamos lo que acabo de explicar. Do you smell flowers in spring? Y la respuesta será... Do you smell flowers in spring? Yes or no? Mm, yes. Yes. Como preguntan con you, respondo con... We. Y diremos yes, yes, yes. Es do or don't. Muy bien, es con do. Yes, we do. Come on. What do they do or what they do? A ver, pensar un poco. What, ¿qué os suena mejor? What do they do or what they do in autumn? What do they do? What do they do in autumn? What do they? Si pregunta con they, ¿con qué respondo? Very good, with they. Es lógica, no lo tengo que saber de memoria. Uh, they in autumn. Autumn. Spring, summer. Autumn and winter. Do you go to the beach in autumn? No. Uh, so it celebrates Halloween. Very good. Presence in winter. You open or do you open? Very good. Vais entendiéndolo. Yes or no? Do you open presents in the winter? Yeah, it's Christmas time. Yes. Como preguntan, do you? ¿Con qué respondo? ¿Con we o con they? With we. Very good. Yes. We. Do or don't? Cuando es yes, is do. Very good. What in autumn? What do you do or what you do? What do you do? What do you? ¿Qué respondo? We or they? Pensar. Very good. We. In autumn, we eat chestnuts or we finish school? Eat chestnuts. Wear warm clothes. ¿Qué era wear warm clothes? ¿Lo recordáis que era un poco complicado? Wear warm clothes is llevar ropa de invierno. Do you or you? Do you. Very good. Do you wear warm clothes in summer? No. In summer no. In winter. No. Como pregunta con you, ¿con qué respondo? ¿Con we or they? 
Very good. We. We do. No, we do. Or no, we don't. No, we don't. Seeds in spring. Do they plant seeds in spring? They plant. Very good. Do they? Siempre empezamos con do. Yes or no? Do you plant seeds in spring? Yes, for the flowers to come out, no? Yes. Si pregunta con they, respondo con they. The, yes, they do or yes, they don't. Very good. Yes, they do. So we are fantastic again. Chicos, we are ready. Boys and girls, we are ready to do activity book. Activity book page 59. We need to write plant seeds in spring. Very good. Celebrate Halloween. Summer, winter or autumn. This is super easy. Okay. And activity 1B. You need to draw lines. Yeah, you need to write they, number one, they, for example, they, number one is they in spring. ¿Con qué va unido la flecha? ¿Lo veis en el dibujo? Can you see the picture? Spring, very good, with plant seeds. This is the example, okay? You need to do number two, number three, and number four, okay? Well, that's the end of the story. Yeah? Let's see. Today, we talked about different activities people do. What's this? What is Beth doing? Oh, she's got a postcard. And they are going to read the postcard. What activities are they? Do you do these activities? Do you plant seeds in summer? Do you plant seeds in spring? Do you go to the beach in summer? Do you open presents at Christmas? Do you eat chestnuts in autumn? I don't know. Maybe yes. Well, open presents in Christmas? Yes, we do. Do you open uh, presents in Christmas, your family? Yes, we do. Okay, well, this is the end of lesson two. Bye! I hope you liked it. Uh, boys, you can play. I Remember, you can play with Navio. You do the activities of the activity book lesson two. And you can sing the song with the video of lesson one. Okay, bye, see you.